many of you have gotten the emails about ClickFunnels. If you have, give me a quick yes. And if you have not, or you're not sure what this is about, just say no, and that's okay. Well, I'll do a quick demo and I'll explain this um, uh, for you now. Okay, so we got uh, several yeses and uh, a few noes. So good. So we will talk a little bit about this. So first of all, um, ClickFunnels is a product that I am um, I'm personally going to be using. Okay, so it's not my own product; it is someone else's product that I'm promoting as an affiliate. Um, I'm personally going to be using this. I'm completely blown away by it. Uh, and what is it? Okay, so well, how many of you have heard of lead pages or uh, um, have used lead pages? How many of you actually have a lead pages account? Um, let me know. Give me a yes or no. Do you use lead pages? Um, Yes, several of you have lead pages. Some of you just started an account. Uh, Corinne says uh, pre prefer Optimize Press uh, and Optimize Press too. Okay, so I have them all. Okay, so I have, I have lead pages. I have Optimize Press. Um, there are several different types of tools out there to create landing pages. Lead pages is great. It does a, a, a good job at what it at what it's meant to do. But it's, I find it's very limiting. You can only create one page. You can't really link the pages well easily together. And um, it's if you you can only turn and hide, turn things off or hide elements of a page. But ClickFunnels is completely you know free for all. Um, Optimized Press is is similar in that in the sense of, of Click uh, to ClickFunnels because you can make a page look however way you want, but it's a WordPress plugin, okay? And Philip, you just said, I have a plugin that does it in, in my WordPress. Well, the problem is if you have multiple WordPress plugins, it either A, slows down the site or B, kind of messes things up and things don't display properly um, or C, you know, it, it just, it, it, it causes um, a, a really bad or complicated user experience to edit the pages. I've seen this on my own sites. When I'm editing a sales page on PLR.me using Optimize Press, it takes like five seconds to save the document, to save the page. Why? Well, because I've got a whole bunch of plugins and different things going on, and it's really a pain in the butt. So, and Philip says, yep, exactly. So ClickFunnels is different. ClickFunnels is kind of like a hybrid between the two, uh, between lead pages and Optimize Press, but it's so much more than that. Um, so ClickFunnels is a hosted solution. It's on ClickFunnels website. It's not on your site. Uh, so it's not going to slow down your site, but you can still have pages on your site that are ClickFunnels pages. Um, but you're not going to have to deal with WordPress plugins and all of that, you know, nasty code and crazy stuff. Uh, let me do a quick demo of ClickFunnels inside. Okay, so I'm logged into my own ClickFunnels account. And here's where the magic happens because lead pages is really meant for landing pages. Um, and and um, Optimize Press can do multiple types of pages, but you don't really build a funnel using Optimize Press or lead pages. You can build pages with those things. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, a funnel is a sequence of pages. So you can see an opt-in lead capture funnel has a squeeze page going to a thank you page. Okay, so that's an example of a funnel. There are two pages connected to each other. Well, a sales funnel has a squeeze page going to a sales page, going to an order confirmation page, going to a download page. So you can see there are multiple steps here. And there's, you know, let's say, a webinar. There's a webinar sign up, there's a confirmation, and then there's a live webinar. Or if you have an autoplay webinar, there's a webinar sign up, a confirmation, auto webinar, webinar replay. So you can see there's multiple steps to a funnel. A funnel is not one page. So Lead Pages is great for creating one page. Optimize Press is great for creating uh, one page, but to interlink them together automatically and then track the stats. Okay, to know what's going on in your funnel, that's where ClickFunnels is, is phenomenal. So you, and there's a membership um, side of it. You can have uh, your own membership site. Uh, you can create a launch sequence. So the squeeze page going to video one, two, three, four, order page, thank you page, and then you can create your own custom funnel. So these are going to be dripped out. You can see, you know, this is available October 3rd, and, and they kind of drip them out slowly. Um, this is the one that's available right now. I've been testing this, and it's really, really cool. If you click on create funnel, I'll just do a, I got to log in again since I've had this open for a little while. Uh, and the link to this, by the way, is in your chat. Um, this is my affiliate link. So please do check it out. There's a, a trial. So you can give it a shot for 14 days and you can cancel. Uh, I think you're going to love it. I'm going to create a sample here and click on Create Funnel. And what we're going to do now is choose an opt-in page. And you can see here there's an opt-in and then there's a thank you. And you can add more, more pages too. You can sort of interlink multiple pages, right? So here's what's neat about this. They've got a bunch of opt-in templates. Or they, they're adding more constantly. And then there are other types of pages that you can have, a webinar broadcast room as seen on TV. So let me, let's, let's just, I haven't even seen this yet. I have no idea what this looks like. So here's an as seen on TV page template. Um, you know, pretty cool. R really, you know, a nice, simple, uh, nice page to do. I mean, it would take a long time to code that by hand. Um, doo -doo -doo. So am I replacing lead pages with this? Luan asked. Um, so, so far, it's looking to be that case, yes. 
Um, yes. And um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Philip says, I wish they'd take PayPal right now. I don't have my company credit card yet. Um, Philip, send me an email and, and I'll, I'll see if I can go to bat for you on that. We'll see if they can take PayPal. Um, how much is it after 14 days? It depends on what modules you want. Um, let me just, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. I'll, I'll, let's just, let me just kind of go through this demo here. So remind me, Luann, about that, uh, about the pricing in a little while. So, um, all right, so let's go to an opt-in page again. So they have tons of templates and they're adding more. You can have a two-step opt-in. So you want to have, uh, what they mean by two-step is it's just a button, you click on it, and then it pops up like this. Like, look how stunning this is, beautiful. Um, and it's done automatically. So that's a, a two-step. There's a video type of opt-in. So again, here's a example here. There's a video that would play. And then below it is the opt-in. And there's a little bit of text under there. Um, and then just regular. So let's just do a, you know, a simple, straight up. Um, let's do a, here, I, I, I'm just going to pick one. OK, here, super clean, uh, dark. I don't know what this said. Super clean, opt-in dark. OK, so it's loading up here. Now, again, this is what's cool. I mean, you can, it knows the number of visitors. It knows your conversion rate. It knows the total number of leads. You can do split testing. You can do, I don't know what this is. I forget. Uh, I think you can, oh, yeah, you can um, have instant opt-in, which means, let's say if you use Aweber, you can take this link. And if someone clicks on that link with their email attached, they're automatically opted in. I mean, how cool is that? There's something called squeeze pop. Um, so you can have a link that's on your blog and they click on it. And um, right now, hang on, sorry. It's... Uh, uh, I've had an issue with my Chrome browser. Okay, so you click on a link and it would automatically take people um, to to pages. I just closed the browser. Sorry about that. All right, and going back, um, you can uh, also create it on Facebook and or post it onto WordPress. So you click on this, it'll you know show you exactly how to put the page within your WordPress site. Okay, so how do you edit this page? And this is what's so cool about this. Again, it's a hybrid of lead pages and optimized press. It's really straightforward to use. There's this little navigation here on the side. You click on any text that you want. You can you know make it not bold. So discover the number one trick for reducing. Oops. Reducing your stress. Okay, so easily edit the text. Um, and you can also you know select text. You can hyperlink text. Done. So there we go. Well, it kind of looks bad when it's hyperlinked, but you get the idea. Really quite easy to to do. Um, break the link. Anyway, I'm going to leave that. Um, you can change all the different types of settings here. Your meta tags. You can put this on your own website. You can install tracking codes if you're more advanced and you want to have you know Facebook tracking codes and, and stuff like that. Luan said it looks very impressive. Um, it is really cool. Um, all right. So then you can add sections. So let's say you want to have a box here at the bottom that has some information or your you know let's say um, we'll add a one column block to page and we're going to add an element. Let's say we have a countdown. Okay, so and this is what's really amazing about this. They have multiple types of features built in. So you can have a countdown clock that, let's say, we're going to set the date to expire. I'm going to set it to expire today at, um, and, you know, some things, you know, I wish there was a little bit more scalable. You can choose the exact time you want, but, you know, that's fine. Um, all right, let's do 2 p.m. You can have a redirect URL. I'll send people to the expired page. You can adjust the font styles. You can have, you know, different, look, there's a little circle around the, um, Time countdown clock. You can change the font styling. You can have an animation. Um, I'll show you what that means in a second. Actually, I'll do it on. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So I'm going to save, and I'm going to click preview. And you see how it bounced up um, when the page loaded. I'll just kind of click that again, so you can see. So you see how it kind of bounces. That's a little animation effect. Uh, and so what will happen once this countdown clock hits zero, it'll automatically redirect. Well, this is built in. Like you, usually, you have to get a separate plugin or some other tool to have countdown clocks or or things like that. Um, really simple, quite easy to use, and you know, you know, of course, there's a learning curve with any with any type of technology. Um, but I I think it's pretty awesome. So Luan says, okay, now you're just showing off. I will for sure trial on this. It's honest, honestly, it, it is pretty amazing. Okay, this is just one page though, and this is a very basic, simple page. Um, let's go back and um, loading for it. Uh, so you can see, you know, there's one visitor. It can track conversions. So if someone were to opt in, it would know. Okay, well, there's a conversion. I'll know that. Then I can create a split test. Uh, create from template. So I can have a completely different style split test. I'm just going to randomly pick one here. Um, opt in to create page. And here we go. So here is um, here's the version two. I can edit this other style of, of um, 
page at the same time. So when someone hits one, uh, one opt-in page, one landing page, it will show a different page to different people, and it'll it'll keep track of which page is actually outperforming the other. So here's another example of the page. Um, I'm just going to save, and again, it's really easy to to edit. Um, you can select the text, but you can also if you go to elements here, uh, main text. You can, um, let's say you want to change the font color. You want to adjust the font. I like Lado. That's one of my favorite ones. Um, you can actually add an icon, you know, check icon. Um, you can change the text size. Um, you can also just add you know, line breaks. Really easy, straightforward to use. And when I'm done, save. It also tells you two notices, so it tells you, oh, well, you forgot to add meta tags, or you, you know, may want to update your social share, or if you forget to do something, it'll help you with that. All right, so exit, and um, what I'll do now is if I were to visit this page, it will show me one of two pages. So it's going to show me this page if I go to, go, um, to that. Now, if I go to a separate window, um, again, I have a problem with my Chrome browser for some reason. So it's going to show me this page again, and maybe I might be locked in. If someone were to visit that page, you might actually see an alternate, like sort of that, um, that split test. So anyway, that is ClickFunnels. That's just a simple example. Like I said, there are going to be multiple um, Multiple funnels, sales funnels, webinar funnels, and also I'll show you this now. Um, and before I know you're going to talk about the pricing, um, let's go to the plans, and I'll show you what they are. So it starts at thirty-seven dollars per month, depending on you know how many pages, how many funnels, how many visitors, and then it can go up from there. Um, it's uh, it's around the same price as lead pages, but it's a full featured platform. What do I mean by that? Well, lead pages doesn't take money for you, right? If you look here, if you look under um, order pages, they will they will accept credit card payments directly from the order page for you. Okay, so you don't have to have something separate. They're doing everything here for you. Um, and the fees is reasonable 30 cents plus 3.9%. Like that's pretty, pretty good. Um, that is included, you know, having upsells built in, again, they take the payment for you. Um, downsell pages, you can what else was that was really cool. Um, I mean, all the, a lot of the features that Lead Pages charges a hundred dollars a month for, it's included in, um, you know, in in the same or lower p package. Okay, so um, it depends on uh, what you need. Um, but this is these are the the pricing plans for Click, click Funnels. I'm just an affiliate. Um, if you have any questions or something that I can help with, please let me know. But if you, you know, I can always um, contact them and, and reach out if if there's something that I cannot handle. Um, is this something that we can turn over to our VA to do for you? Absolutely. They'd have fun with it because it's actually really easy to use and they'll have some fun to create the pages. I would highly recommend that too. I mean, you just have to tell them what you want on the page and then they go ahead and create it using ClickFunnels because the beauty is that it's it's, it's automatic, right? So if, it, if I want to create a funnel, it knows that I need to use a squeeze page and a thank you page. So it'll automatically create both and you just fill in the blanks. That's what that's what's awesome about this compared to lead pages. Um, and also it will look completely different. Lead pages, pages, they, they look like lead pages, pages. You can only customize it so much, but this is really from the ground up, um, a full funnel builder. Okay. So um, that is ClickFunnels. If you want to take the trial, please do. Um, uh, it's free. If you like what you see, that's awesome. Um, and uh, stick around. Great. I'm going to be using it in my own business. Um, you know, and that's that's how I stand behind it, and that's why I wanted to show it off for you today. Uh, Peter's asking, are the pages on your own site? Yes, you can. You can be putting the pages on your site. It's still hosted on ClickFunnels, I believe, but then it's um, you can add your own custom domains and things like that. Um, and uh, Luann asks, is, can it be linked with Infusionsoft? Yes, for sure. Um, do the other modules have an additional cost? Okay, so these modules here, at $97, you get all the modules. Uh, the $37 uh, per month module, I think it's only the first two, I'm pretty sure. Um, let me just check the pricing page. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It doesn't tell me on here. But um, uh, I'm pretty, yeah, oh, sorry, here it is. Uh, the opt-in funnels. Only the opt-in funnels you get for the thirty-seven dollars a month. So essentially, similar to lead pages, you can only create you know landing pages type of type of style. Um, then yes, it's thirty-seven dollars a month. But if you want, um, you know, to to be able to accept orders, have automated webinars, membership sites, launch you know a launch funnel, um, yeah, you you uh, you'll want to do the ninety-seven dollar a month option.